I don't remember every name. Right. I don't remember name, but I always remember face. There you go. <coughs> so, of course, it would be the guy with the face. That that's right. the that's like it on the yeah. From Hillsborough County. Yeah. 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 Hudson, I live in Hudson. Oh. No, that's fine. You can write ahead because I can see. Yeah. First, your thoughts on the new entrant, late entrant in the race? Well, I, I'm just focused on my race. I'm focused on Andy Custer. I'm focused on talking to all the voters in the 2nd Congressional District. And as you know, I've been out there working hard for about a year now, uh, meeting the voters and listening to their concerns. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on Andy Custer, focus on uh, winning in November. And that's what I'm going to do. How would you characterize the energy in your, in your campaign so far? Well, I feel really good. I mean, we've been all through the district pretty much and talking to a lot of voters listening to concerns about Obamacare, about uh, jobs, about the economy, and that's what, what's going to be the focus of my race, uh, which is those, those issues. What do you make of what we saw occur yesterday in, in Virginia? The voters spoke, and you know, uh, someone may be, have been out of touch with the voters. I'm in touch with the voters. It reminds me of what Andy Custer, what I hear from voters in this di district about Andy Custer. She's not doing town halls. She's out of touch <laughs> with the voters out here. And I'm going to make sure I run a grassroots campaign, make sure I stay in touch with them, listen to their concerns, and, uh, and hopefully they'll elect me as their congressman come November. Obviously, New Hampshire is not Virginia, but uh, it would seem to indicate that there is still a very strong conservative movement out there with uh, Eric uh, Cantor losing in the primary. Do you feel that you're conservative enough to reach those voters as well as the, the, the base, if you will? Well, I'm a conservative candidate. I always have been. I have a conservative voting record up here at the state senate. But, you know, people are tired of business as usual in Washington, D.C. And I think that's what you really see from that, uh, from that message yesterday. They're sick and fed up with the perks. They're fed up with folks thinking about themselves rather than thinking about the country. And I think Andy Custer is a classic example of that, and that's why I think I'm going to do well uh, come November. Well, actually, Gary, why you out of the three? Uh, I think I have a great record of serving my country. I uh, just retired from the Marine Corps after 35 years, one month, 25 days, mm -hmm. a week ago <laughs> Sunday, and I want to continue to serve. So I've been serving my country since I was 19. I want to continue to serve. I think I have a record of service to my community, uh, to my church, uh, to the state as a state senator. <coughs> and my wife and I are still uh, are small business people. And we understand the concerns of small business people, employers, and employees. Thank you very Thanks, much. Sir. Appreciate, Appreciate it. it. Senator Lambert, really quick, you got a lot of young people out here who um, have signed saying you're too extreme. You just noted to, um, <coughs> to Channel 9 that you thought you were conservative enough. CD2 has always kind of historically been moderate to liberal, even with people like Charlie Bass who have always been considered a historic 
historically liberal Republican. Are you too extreme for CBT? Well, first of all, like I say, I am a conservative, got a conservative voting record, uh, even okay. up here in the state senate. I ran on conservative principles. Let me tell you what conservative, when I ran for state senate in Nashua, I ran on conservative principles then, which was balance the budget, no new taxes, no new fees. The voters elected me, the first Republican to be elected in 94 years in Nashua. So that same message that resonated in a very democratic district in Nashua uh, will resonate in this district here because I've already seen it resonating. Uh, people want the same thing everywhere. They want government out of their lives. They want uh, Washington, D.C. out of their lives. And they want the, the folks down in Washington, D.C. accountable for what they're doing. And that's why, you know, as I mentioned, I'm running on a no perks uh, platform, which is, you know, term limits. I want term limits of, of three terms. I'm not taking the congressional pension. I'm not going to take a subsidy on, on health care, and I'm term limiting myself to three terms if, if the voters should choose to have me elected for three times. Sorry, you didn't answer the question. Are you too extreme for New Hampshire, do you think? Of course I'm not too extreme. I am a conservative uh, and will continue to, to espouse conservative principles mm -hmm. uh, as I did when I ran for state senate. Uh, next question. Any more questions? If not, I want to thank you all very much for coming here today. Thank you. Uh, and if you have any, if you want to uh, talk to me one-on-one, -on -one, I'd be happy to talk to you out in the hallway. And uh, we can let these folks get back to work. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, I'll be up there today. Yep. So, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. We'll get out of the folks' way here. Hey, Joe, thanks so much for coming, buddy. Appreciate it. You guys are signing up too, I think, right? Congratulations. Thank you. Ray again. Good to see you. Hi. 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 I know you're running a business down there. Thank you. Thanks for helping me out. Thank you. Thank you.
represent. I really appreciate it. I can't go away. Okay, that's a big one.
Yes, yes. I, I do. Are you heading out with a group? I, I'm heading, well, I was going to head out with these well, guys. Well, I didn't know that she had any more. I Because it's always about jobs. If you don't have one, yeah. any job is better than no job. I disagree, but I'm glad to, I'm glad to know you're here. I just Thank so you know, when I go down to Congress, I chance to do it. Thank you. 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 Well, you know what? It is business.